So there's 10 people waiting in line after they've already waited 15 minutes in the waiting room. After they've already been told to put a mask on. Now you move into the stand-up line and there's no room for anybody. You know, if there's people that like have disabilities and need to like stay, like sit down, there's like not any accommodations for them at all. There's no curbside pickup. But anyway, so there's 10 people standing in line at this point. And the dispensary workers are just sitting behind the counter and they're just talking about their merry day. They're just like, yeah, um, yeah, after I get off work, I'm going to go watch Yellowstone and, um, yeah, did you see this or that? You know, they're like back there just gossiping. Why there's literally just 10 people standing in line. And I, I've been there at this point for probably at least 30 minutes. And this is placing an online order, you know, way beforehand, waiting in the waiting room for 15 minutes. Now they call me in to stand in line. Now I'm standing in line for 10 minutes and they're just calling people behind me. That's literally just showed up. Like I've already been there for 45 minutes an hour. So now they just have people standing in line behind me and everybody's getting called up for random stuff. Like it's the most horribly ran business there ever was. And I hope you don't think I'm being too harsh on you guys. If anyone's working at Sunnyside, like I'm, I know it's not you. Y'all are not designing this business. But, I mean, the way you guys are running your stuff compared to, per se, like Columbia Care and Marietta is a way different experience. You go to Columbia Care and Marietta, you walk in, there's a receptionist right there, like a real person, not behind a, like a bulletproof glass, you know. And there's a nice waiting room. They offer you water. You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's paper menus laid out for people to read, and then once you do get called back to the uh, area, it's not just a taped off like bank row where you're just standing in line like some slave number. Like you actually go up to the bud tender. They actually have product there, so if you want to see a half ounce of this medicine or if you want to see this vape product or this edible they literally just turn around right behind them and grab it off the shelf and show it to you is this what you want is this what you want to buy like the sunny side experience is so fucking sketchy <laughs> like i'm not i'm not even gonna lie because i've been to dispensaries like all around the country and all around the world and I'll tell you what, man, just the way they do business there. I blame the state of Ohio, you know. And the only place that we have to put blame on is ourselves. Well, they need to clean that shit up, man. Like, I'll get back to doing reviews eventually, maybe. I don't know. I'm coming up to review, uh, renew my card. So if anyone knows any online telemedicine ways that I'm able to renew my card, would you please leave that in the comments? Um, so I can get that done. If not, you know, I might let it relapse. I don't know. Like, I like the I like the vapes I'm getting. I like some of the flower, but just the hassle and the lack of locations. Like I have to drive, you know, three hours to get medicine, and I have to stand there for another hour and a half and just have shitty customer service the whole time. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It's just it's just a bunch of weirdos on power trips right now. It seems like working in these dispensaries. So. Hopefully it's more open up and it becomes more mainstream. I know West Virginia just opened up their first dispensary. Um, Huntington, West Virginia. 
right by Marshall University is set to open up their first dispensary uh, in December. Um, I don't know if they're going to have uh, accept Ohio licenses. I hope they do. If anyone listening to this knows anything about either one of those issues, please leave it in the comments. I thank you so much for listening. It's your boy, Ohio MJ, signing off.